it's fair to say I haven't hidden my disappointment about this new DLC, but there are three new vehicles at Simeon's, so rather than just saying I'm not going to buy them, I thought I should try them. So let's go and start off with this, the Cleek Wagon. It does look pretty good if you want an old woody station wagon in the game. I'm not really that bothered. I don't have room in a classic collection for it, but let's drive it. Oh, so disappointing right from the off. The acceleration, well, it isn't really acceleration. It's unbelievably slow. This is really boring. I mean, the Broadway was better than this. And uh, I already know I do not want to buy this car. I'm very bored, so I'm going to see if I can just stop the test drive. Well, this is when I found out you're sort of stuck in a test drive for five minutes. I've done so few, I hadn't realised that. But don't worry, I did work out how to end it. Number two is the Vapid Rattel, and this does look cool. I mean, you can't deny this sort of off-road buggy type vehicle does look great. So I'm hoping we'll get a slightly longer drive with this one. Let's head out first to the countryside. Well, I've had a couple of minutes now driving it around, mostly in the city, and it drives really nicely. It feels very rear biased, I'm suspecting rear wheel drive. You can get some lovely slides and because the independent suspension is so easy to see, you do get the fun of watching the wheel pump up and down and it deals with any bump really very, very well. So I'm trying some off-roading. I was trying some off-roading. It doesn't want to go off-road and uh, you can see it's just going backwards with the wheel spinning. So at this point I'm thinking, yeah, this is definitely a rear wheel drive vehicle. So apologies to the fruit seller, but I do just need to check. Yeah, okay. Sorry, mate, but uh, there we go. So it's got good off-road potential when the ultimate grip or hill climbing isn't required, and it feels okay, quite fun on the road. But there's 1.8 million, and I think unless you've got a really big hole in an off-road collection, I'm not sure how worth it it is. Not long before the garage tour, I had such a hole in the collection, but I bought the Rune Zaba, I just thought it was a very interesting thing to look at in the collection. I mean, obviously it's hideous to drive, but uh, I'm thinking I might get rid of that and put one of these in its place, because this is okay to drive and it looks super cool. I, I do enjoy looking at it very much. Well, let's see if we can get it into a swimming pool to finish the test drive. Apparently not, I guarantee you. If that was my scramjet, it would have been straight in there. And let's go now for number three. It's the Walton S10, which is uh, a Class A vehicle based on, of course, the Chevrolet pickup truck. It looks really good. I love the, uh, the lifted suspension and the sticking out wheels. I think they would be illegal in the UK, but there we go. Let's get rid of the radio. Let's head off. Well, nice brisk start on the acceleration, quite possibly then a four wheel drive vehicle. And quite neutral handling again feeling like four-wheel drive it's quite quick as well you know this already feels like not a bad vehicle although I'm patently aware that this is you know about 1.6 million same sort of price as the monstrosity let's have a quick check yes four-wheel drive looked like it was biased perhaps a little to the rear I know it's got lots of customization just from watching other people's videos so uh, let's get up into the hills two minutes into the drive now and it's driving very nicely. I've been all the way through the town taking plenty of corners. I do like the handling balance of the vehicle. I have watched other videos and heard it compared with the Boar. I don't know, it is a little bit like the Boar but I think the Boar is a nicer feeling car to drive. It seems to enter the slides and hold the slides much easier than this does and it's cheaper so if you said to me the Boar or this well I just say get the Boar. When I think about cars in my collection such as the Boar, or perhaps the Vagrant, the Aerial Nomad, what a fantastic car that is, I love that car. You think of course of the Draugr, some of the other off-roaders in the game, 
then with all those available, I don't find a compelling reason to buy this. Now, I know the customization on this car is excellent. So if, of course, you want to buy one to customize to your heart's content and put in that sort of collection, that's great. But for me, even though it is dealing OK with these very steep hills, can't find, again, the compelling reason to buy this car. So in summary, then, on these three cars, the click station, forget it, not interested at all. I can see the appeal in the Rattel, and I might even end up with one one day. But I do think for 1.8 million, it, it's pretty overpriced for what it is. It's pretty much a serious collection vehicle more than anything you really want. There's a lot nicer cars to drive. This Walton L35 looks super cool. I didn't mention the noise, but you've heard it sounds fantastic. I can fully understand why anybody would buy this for something to customise or to put in a, a collection off-road or perhaps a utility collection. I don't particularly have room for it, and I think at the price, I'm quite happy just to stay with the bore, to be honest with you. I realise this is all in-game footage and it's only using loan vehicles, so not my normal sort of video. But I hope you have some value or maybe at least a little bit of entertainment from it. And if so, if you could hit that like button, it would be very, very much appreciated. And if you like real cars in GTA, whilst I hardly touched on them in this video, that is, of course, a main part of this channel. And if that's true and you're not subbed, I would certainly appreciate a sub. I don't think you'll regret that. Now, I know I say this every time, but it's because I genuinely really mean it. Thank you so much for watching.